Hello everyone, no response here. Hope you're having a grand week. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a little guide on how domestication works in Starfield, as well as giving you some outpost ideas and how you can integrate the domestication buildings into your outpost to make them look cool, as well as just some general layout formats. So first and foremost, because this confuses everyone, it confused me, so I'm just gonna do this one first. It's about scanning. So I'm currently on Crete right now, just because I actually really really like the planet and it's kind of thematically quite cool but also Crete is quite helpful the fact is that it has animals I can domesticate now you may be curious how I can tell if you look at the bottom there it says outpost production allowed uh, this is something that's very very easy to miss I did I actually scanned an entire planet got really confused for age until I realized that every single of the eight different animals I found none of them could be scanned and turned into outpost used in outpost production facilities and it broke my heart. Also you may notice um, that I haven't actually finished scanning the planet. You do not need to scan everything to actually begin building outpost production facilities. I originally thought you would need to. Um, you don't, so that's helpful to know. In terms of skills, you just need level 1 in zoology and up to level 2 in outpost engineering. It does involve quite a few resources in terms of the resource terminal, but you don't need to spec too far in uh, to have access to up to and including the industrial size ones. And one just little scanning tip while I'm here, which I'm probably going to mention quite a few times because it's easy to forget. If you are scanning a planet and you're stuck at like 98% or something, and it says you've scanned all the flora or the flora, or there's one thing missing, uh, go to the coast and scan the fish you're missing the fish that's what that's what you're missing um so right let's go and jump into actually building stuff and also stop andresia from clearly murdering those things one more right so i've done a little bit of building while i was away and kind of done uh, the base level of an outpost i've done no real decoration decoration but obviously i've done all of the structural elements as well as slap to this really big one at the side purely just so I can show you the inside. Uh, so for those who don't know, when you make these you get three different versions of them. Uh, depending on how far you want in the research you'll unlock more of them. In fact, this is the smaller one. Basically they do it normal then commercial then industrial. Um, one thing I will say, and this is just a thing with me with any kind of structure in a game, is the big ones always look like shit. And I'd recommend just not using them because it is just a monstrously big structure um, which is really difficult to make look good. And also, to be frank, mixed feelings about the barn thing they're going with. However, you can actually build inside of these, which is why I think we can probably turn these into some pretty interesting player homes. So this is what I've come up with so far. Kept it fairly simple. I just wanted to play around with how they integrated with various structures. Um, one thing to note is the second you place these things down, you will get... Your creatures appear in everywhere. I think there are some more. Yeah, there's some up there. <laughs> um, so just bear that in mind if you're having trouble with them getting in the way. A little cheeky thing you can do is pick it up and move it like to the edge of the map, and then wait for them to move over there because they'll they'll basically walk towards it, and then you can just move it back and like it gives you a little bit of time to decorate. Uh, Bethesda, I want fences to corral these a little bit. If I'm gonna have my little ranch, I need an actual you know, fence and gate, but for now it's pretty cool. And I've added a few hydroponics just for the bants. Right, so let's just show you on foot. So let me just show you how they work first. So obviously you place them down and it'll immediately spawn whatever of the local creature is that it's actually farmable. You can go inside, as you can see, and you can build inside these. So I'll show the interior of the medium and the industrial size one in a sec. Uh, if you want to produce stuff, it appears to be based on what the creature is. So it will be different depending on where you are. This is similar to hydroponics as well. And it will often, if not always, use fiber and water. This might become a bit of a problem if you genuinely want to use this for actual consistent resource production because water is a pretty common one to find. But finding something that produces fiber, which I believe is from hydroponics, but you also then need plants which produce fiber, it becomes a little bit more complex. But I have taken the liberty of getting some ready early. So you need to just link it. So link, and I've got some water in there, I believe. Is that linking? Did it link? Nah. There we go, lovely jubbly. So that should. Ah, uh, these are completely tame, by the way, so they don't attack you, which is nice. So this, just currently building away. Takes a while, but that'll slowly fill up while we're uh, while we're waiting. I do I have to turn? I have to turn it on, do I? 
I haven't missed the on switch. No, I'm fairly certain I haven't missed the on switch, so there we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Speak of the devil. So let me show you the medium one as well. I am going to be decorating this with actual junk decoration. To be frank, I didn't want to do it during this video because it would have just taken me hours and largely wouldn't have affected the overall quality of the video. And to be honest, it's easier showing the interior of these without any decoration in. So you do have a decent amount of space. This medium one, I could see you getting some good use of and if you wanted to actually turn it into a player room. One thing to note is the creatures can get inside. So if you definitely don't want them appearing, you have to keep the doors closed. And Bethesda seriously give us the ability to corral these in some way. But like I said, I'm kind of fairly certain we'll get some DLC relating to these in future in future expansions. Uh, I've put this one on the edge purely because I don't actually want it in my outpost because it's just too big. I'm not a big fan of the barn design. It looks a little bit goofy, um, I'll be utterly honest. But the smaller one is not as egregious as the others, shall we say. So I'll probably integrate it into quite a lot of my outposts. This one has a lot more space to the point where you could have a kind of quite satisfying living area up here. Um, and then you could kind of build a bit down there, but also with room to let the creatures in. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the big thing you've got to pay attention to when kind of setting up um, an outpost for animal husbandry for domestication is to make sure you first can actually, you know, while you're scanning the planet, keep an eye out for it. Because I initially was under the impression you could just scan anything and, and then it would be able to, you know, place down the, the domestication uh, structures. But also bear in mind, if you do genuinely want to use them to produce resources, then you're going to have to get a little bit of a supply chain going or just buy in bulk and dump off. Because uh, it does use quite a bit, but theoretically you could just load up with a few hundred fibre and water. Uh, water is actually one of those ones which is quite easy to get. Fibre, less so. How much is it produced already? See, it's only produced four. This is also one of the reasons why you might want to consider not using the bigger ones, because the bigger ones are going to consume resources at a much greater rate. Anywho, hope that gave you a little bit of insight on how the domestication works. I'm definitely going to be using these in structures going forward. The little one, definitely, I think, because even though the barn thing is a little bit goofy, uh, it is kind of a decent structure, and I think I could probably turn it into a little bit of a player home. As always, follow me on Twitter at no response. I'll be doing a hydroponics one. I'm actually going to play around with the different plants and stuff because I think there's quite a lot of resources we can actually get from hydroponics, possibly more so than the creatures. And it's also just a little bit more reliable. Anywho, as again, as always, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on TikTok at no response. All of my links are in the description. And I'll speak to you absolutely lovely bunch soon. You take care.